Hello everyone, I am back again today with one of the pieces of art it's what you call them, yes I call it art that I put in my little 100 days journal that's going on about 200 days now <laughs> but anyway that doesn't really matter uh, I enjoy creating them and today I thought I would do something in green and you see I've got this um, uh, paper here and uh, I thought okay I need some texture I didn't know where I was going I just wanted to do something with my leftover papers as I always do I like collaging as you know so I just put some gesso down and I dried it uh, not everywhere but um, uh, there is still just the raised parts of the gesso are still wet so I can pull them through that stencil that's a very dirty stencil as you can see but I don't mind we just work with it um, so I've got texture and I've got a little bit of um, an, uh, some numbers that will create a resist when I put the distress ink on top of it you see it's gathered tricks um, um, I don't know really what color it is you might have seen it <laughs> um, I don't use them that much uh, uh, anymore um, so I thought I might use them uh, now in this project and recently I started doing my Christmas cards and I am doing them with the distress ink as well so uh, I'm really re, re um, how do you ca uh, call that just uh, 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 I don't know rekindle my love for the distress ink um, so um, just uh, saturate it quite well and then go over with the baby white because I do want the white spaces to come out again and because it's a resist you can easily wipe off the distress ink from those parts so uh, taking my box again with my small pieces of paper um, you see these are all handmade or and uh, other uh, papers are just ledgers or book papers or something so this is a stamped and inked piece of uh, tissue paper and I thought okay I'm going to cut those two out uh, in case I need them um, I thought that the green would stick out on the well kind of olive green that's already there so now I'm thinking on what to do. I just want to use all these papers that I've got because I like them a lot. So, but how to use them, how to stack them. I just try different kinds of uh, uh, ways to get them to fit together and then just look at it. And then I found myself overthinking. Uh, so I just decided to uh, cast them aside and then just glue them down randomly uh, so um, taking this one I really like that one the stamp one and you might think oh where is this going well that's the same thought that I had a few times while I was working on this card but I didn't want to I, I thought about just putting it in a bin for uh, a few times <laughs> while I was doing it but I thought no just go on go on and do whatever comes to mind so I thought okay uh, I have these circles that are stamped I've got some circles in the back will look like half a circle so I thought okay you just take your piece of paper that's left and just cut some circles out and glue them down just to uh, bring the light color uh, in and uh, well I, th I think while I do the voiceovers I think well why I did it but that might not be the reason why I did it as I was working on it but so this is just a piece of paper that was left and there is still a, there is a little bit of gesso on it and I thought okay I'm going to use it I don't really like the small round circle so I'm just going to cover it up with this piece of paper and do the same just color it a little bit with the same color that I used on the background and then stamp it here and there this is a stamp from Marlene art by Marlene uh, I don't stamp that often I'm not a stamper but I do love the background stamp so I got a little basket where I got these background stamps uh, so I occasionally pull them out 
um, still thinking on what my focal point might be. Uh, it's going to be that oleander butterfly, as you can see, that green one, really beautiful butterfly. So I'm just shading just a little bit. This is um, um, a right at all, how do you call that? Well, uh, uh, Stabilo, a Stabilo All pencil. And I'm just using my water brush uh, to make it a little bit more interesting. I always find that if you put some black on it, it immediately stands out and it looks more interesting and three-dimensional and I really like that. So I'm just going to put some black here and there and you see while I'm doing this, this, this piece of paper stands out from the background a little bit more. Now the butterfly, gluing it down with my glue stick and putting it down in the middle. Uh, you'll see, I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, but I thought, okay, now words. Uh, there has to be something. I thought I was ready, but um, I wasn't. So I've got this box and I cut down uh, words, um, sentences uh, out of magazines while I am uh, cutting out images. Uh, and I've got this whole, this is an Arteza pencil box that I got full of these papers and I found in that same box um, this is a I think it's a Tim Holtz um, uh, how do you call that rub on sticker and thought, okay I'm gonna put that down that is a little bit more interesting than that white circle that was there so I'm just going to put that down I pulled the wing of the butterfly a little up so I can glue it on top of it like that Wah! I thought, okay, this looks a little bit better, but a butterfly in the middle, no, boring. So just just uh, getting it off again and trying a different ways to um, make it look interesting. But you see, it has moved again because I thought I still don't have any words on my little card. So I chose a sentence off of the... Um, uh, Art by Marlene as well. She has some very funny uh, uh, stickers, um, but serious ones as well. Uh, so I thought I might use those. And I placed the butterfly uh, on a whole different angle on my card. Um, and I am cutting that little piece of wing that was sticking out. <coughs> Now almost done, I found another rub-on with memories and I think that I am almost done with this one. Uh, so um, I edited this video until 9 minutes but uh, it took me 36 minutes in total to get to this point. So um, I thought okay it's done, I need to stop right here because otherwise I will uh, spend another two hours on the card so I'm just uh, choosing a near nice spot to put my little piece of art down and um, I hope you liked the video if you did you might leave me a comment I would like that you might join my channel I would like that as well but if you don't that's really no problem at all I hope I enjoyed uh, and I inspired you with this video and um, I'll see you next time Bye-bye, everyone, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.